Over the past two decades, the major harbors in the Mediterranean have witnessed unprecedented traffic of cargo containers made of steel and filled with all kinds of merchandise, which arrive on a mass in specialized ships. From all around the world, the steel containers were invented in the 1950s in the USA, but containerization has a much longer history. It goes back almost 5,000 years, and the Mediterranean has the oldest and certainly the best attested archaeological record of commodities traded in a bulk and packaged in the standardized vessels. Nowhere else in the world can archaeologists follow a similarly advanced and uninterrupted tradition of maritime transport in containers, specifically designed to move refined liquid products, especially wines and oils, over long distance. The Phoenicians and the Greeks, the most prominent seafarers in the ancient Mediterranean, were the first specialized in manufacturing ceramic pots as containers. They developed a simple and practical ceramic vessel with two handles, a narrow mouth, durable walls and a narrow base. Sometimes the base was almost pointed or prolonged into a foot. This made the vessel unstable and hard to use on land but gave them an ideal shape for multiply storage in a ship's hold, which is exactly what they were made for. The narrow base of the upper tires could have been wedged among the necks or the shoulders of the lower ones, so that the cargo never shifted during sailing. Such a containers had to be cost effective, large enough to carry quantities worth the cost of the pot. But they also had to be small enough so that one or two men could carry them when full, in and out of the ship, to and from a cellar, or in order to decan their contents into jugs or craters for serving. Their average capacity was 20 to 35 liters, but their size varied considerably, ranging from 5 to 60 liters per vessel. Although most of them were made to carry wine and olive oil, they also served as a multi-purpose containers for other commodities, such as nuts, olives, cured meat, fish products, or fruits. Sometimes they were reused for moving non-food products as well, like a peach or beans. Greeks often called them keramia, which means pottery vessels, most likely because they were just packaging containers, good only for keeping their contents safe and useless after they were emptied. But there was also another, more descriptive name for them, amphora, which means carried from two sides and emphasized the two sturdy vertical hands, a characteristic feature of Greek maritime transport containers. Archaeologists have chose to refer to these unique vessels as transport amphorae. After decades of study, a rich corpus has been created with hundreds of different types of diverse data and prominence. In this way, transport amphorae are now the alphabet of every underwater archaeologist in the Mediterranean.